The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about 36-year-old Sonya Massey uh, that just tragically lost her life in Springfield, Illinois to uh, Officer uh, Grayson, um, Sean Grayson. Let's jump straight into it. Uh, pretty much 36-year-old uh, Sonya Massey uh, contacted uh, 911 uh, pretty much over a parlor that she felt was around her house. Uh, pretty much when they showed up to the house, um, you know, they went into the house to make sure she was all right. Um, she went towards a, a pot, a, a hot water that she had on the stove and turned it off. And she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Um, if anybody watched the video, you can clearly hear, you know, he said some inappropriate things about, you know, um, out in the face. Um, even what the police commissioner said that he didn't use the right and proper judgment and the right tactics that he's trained to do. Uh, the pol police commissioner said that he could have stepped back. Um, he could have used the taser. He could have used anything, you know. But unfortunately, you know, um, he did what he did to the lady. Um, and this is one of them situations that's about to get real, real big. This is about to be like one of them George Floyd case. You know, you got all the celebrities chiming in on it. Um, it's about to be a real, real big case. Um, uh, the police department in Springfield, Illinois, they definitely did fire um, Officer Grayson. Um, they said that, you know, um, he didn't use the right judgment, you know. Um, and this is the first time that I got to say, you know, that, you know, the police made the right call. Because as you can clearly see from the video, he did make the right call, you know. He could have stepped back, you know. Um, he could have used the taser. You know, it was a lot of things that he could have did. But, you know, a lot of times nowadays, um, you cannot provoke law enforcement. You know, um, we got to understand that they deal with a lot of dangerous events throughout their day. Um, and a lot of time, a lot of these police officers is just, you know, trigger happy, you know. But at the end of the day, uh, in order for you to maintain and make it safe from a police traffic stop or a house call or whatever, man, is to really just comply, man. You know, don't make too much, too too many moves or anything. And it's sad that that's how you got to play it. But, you know, a lot of times you got to let them know, hey, hey, I'm reaching for my license. You know, hey, I'm reaching for my assurance. You can't just suddenly move, you know, because you got some officers out there, not all officers, you know, that uh, unfortunately do that to you. You know, um, I feel like, you know, they made the right call by, uh, you know, charging him and firing him, you know. He definitely being charged with it. Um, like I say, you can clearly see from the video, man, he didn't use the right tactics and the right trainer, you know, and that's even what the police commissioner said, you know. I felt like, you know, he could have stepped back and put some space between them. You know, he could have um, retreated and, and, and left out, you know. He could have even used the taser, you know. But like I say, a lot of times, you know, a lot of these police officers, you know, that's what they want to do off the rip. Um, but like I say, man, um, he definitely was fired. Um, he definitely being charged. And like I say, but this is about to be a big situation. Um, this is about to be a real, real big topic in the world. Um, it's unfortunately and tragic that, um, you know, we, we only want to stick together and come together as a whole. And, and, and as a country, you know, when tragic inc incidents like this happen, when, you know, every day we can stick together and come together. But I can tell that this about to be a real, real big, um, this about to be one of those George Floyd uh, things. And like I said, it's unfortunately that, you know, people keep losing their lives at the hand of law enforcement, you know. But like I say, man, you got to be careful with how you moving and what you saying and your body language when you dealing with law enforcement, man. We just keep seeing it in the past. You can't, I don't think it's smart to argue with them. To, 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 to grab a pot. I don't think it's smart to reach without telling them. I just don't think it's smart nowadays. Not all police officers, but a lot of police officers we didn't see because I didn't have contacts with good cops and bad, you know, so I can't say all law enforcement, you know. Um, but like I said, I send my condolences out to uh, Sonia Massey, 36-year-old woman in uh, Springfield, Illinois, that just tragically uh, lost her life um, at the hands of um, Sean Grayson, um, was a, a police officer. Um, he just got fired and, you know, getting charged. But I sent my condolences out to her family. Um, but like I say, this is about to be a big, big situation. But 
I just don't like how we only want to come together when something tragic happened. And any day when we could come together and stop a lot of violence and peace, you know, we choose to look the other way. But when, you know, somebody that we feel like was treated wrong by law enforcement or got sentenced to too much time, then we want to stick together when we can stick together every day. And we, we won't have situations like this. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, Positivity, Network, Growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>